Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today this is a battery update video once again I have two projects that I'm working on uh, one of them is a tiny little project and that involves taking this lithium polymer batteries apart and that's the dangerous kind that's the one if you hammer a nail down through it it will burn I want to take that apart and um, well I got some good advice do it outside it's bloody cold outside so I'm not gonna be taking that advice I'm gonna be doing it inside but I am um, I have been preparing, I've been reading the manual for the fire extinguisher. I'm prepared and I have my lithium iron battery project here on the table and I want to show you what just arrived from China. Here are one of the banks and to get up to 48 volts I need 13 pairs of battery and I've been thinking about how to do this. I need something to go down between each battery and I've just been thinking about making um, this is just for show uh, but a PCB board that can go down between each roll of batteries and what just came in from China is a charge controller or a charge balancer and it's this little tiny thing it's really not big look at that it's tiny but it comes with a cable and this cable that I have here oh, and it's pretty long that's nice so I, the charge controller can sit like there and that plugs in here and there is 14 cables that goes out of this I just want to be sure 3 3 3 10 and 14 cables yes so there is a cable for between each battery pair of cells all the way on these 13 batteries so this charge controller goes there, there is a plus and a minus here, so the, the power coming into the batteries goes in here and then it's divided out to the cells so that all the cells are balanced. They get exactly the same charge and this controller makes sure that if this is only low voltage and this is high voltage then this will keep getting a charge until they're all evened out. And the same thing when you start using the power, I'm not sure if it does exactly the same thing, but it at least cuts the power if the voltage of the battery bank becomes too low. Then it will say, nope, you're not getting any more out of this, and it will shut down and protect the battery cells. So this charge controller or balancer hopefully will be very handy for this. This charge controller slash balancer is rated for 25 amps. There is some writing here if you want to see that. And 25 amps is like, if I get really, really, really good batteries in this bank, that would be 6 amps per battery bank. Under normal conditions, I wouldn't, I wouldn't draw very much power out of every single bank. I rather want some more banks and just run a little power out of it. But this charge controller could. Um, do two, three, four, five banks, probably not more than five banks of these, and then I would need another charge controller. It depends about how many batteries in each uh, cell block that I want to control with one charge controller. I only have one right now, so um, at least gonna try it with these. So, well, that's a cool project, and I get to mount this and. I need, I need all these pins to go in between and that was where I thought this a circuit board and I got some PCB here that is not used and I would of course need something that was double sided so I could put a piece of, of PCB down between them and I was actually thinking about making a board that can go between the banks like uh, more than one bank one maybe three banks and a longer piece of PCB that could be put down there and take all the banks at once. That would be cool. I'm, I'm thinking about that. And with this double sided I could also have like uh, this side and this side could be fused just by putting a fuse from, from one side to the other side and then the bank would be fused. I could do something nice with a exchangeable fuse in the middle or something. That would be cool. That's the plan on this project. 
haven't got very much further than getting this from China. So that's, that's it. Now I want to take this apart and I haven't got the faintest idea how to do that but uh, yeah very carefully is my best hope so yeah doesn't seem like they want me to get in there uh, that's not like screws or taps or anything like that so uh, I think I'll need just a little bit of violence so we can see there are some cells and right in the in the next room is my wood burner and if anything weird starts happening I'm just gonna take this and throw it in the wood burner Yeah, they are. Apparently, there's three cells in here, and the electronics is up here. And these are the batteries. If you short circuit them, bad things will happen. Just checking if they're hot. They're not. Here are the three cells. I'm really curious to what voltage they are holding. Not really anything. Let's get a multimeter. Let's see. I have no idea if these are in parallel or in serial. Let's, let's just measure the voltage. See what it says. Let's see, there's a plus lead coming in there. 3.8 volts. There's 11.4 volts there. Oh, yeah, that's a nifty little thing. That's a 12 volt battery and it's not taking up much space. I'm pretty sure that I could find something useful to try this on. I would probably have to find out how the connections on the charge controller here works so that I don't break this find out how to charge it and how to get the power out again safely not just taking these apart I don't think I'm gonna be using these for any bang or anything like that it would actually be really nice if I could use one of these cells for my battery light up here because I am changing batteries on that constantly it's a it's a drag it's a pot it's not hot it's not smoking it's a success. I'm pretty sure that these cells have been in some kind of a laptop. They just have the size for it. And now the plastic is totally ruined, but it, the plastic didn't say what kind of a laptop or what power to expect in here, but I think they're really cool. I will surely find something to power with these. Hopefully something that's not too dangerous. And when I watch them here, it looks like there's kind of two cells. There's can you see that? You know, there is like two cells that's on top of each other. So they're probably in parallel. It's really six cells that are here. Even more nicely, even more cool. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see if I'm ever gonna be using this for anything and what it ends up in. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.